what's up? John Sanmez from SimpleProgrammer.com and I got a video for you on programming apprenticeships. Uh, I got a question about this, which I will read you in a second, but before I get to the question, I do want to tell you about an awesome sponsor that we have at SimpleProgrammer.com, which is, well, at SimpleProgrammer, which is Hire.com. And, uh, and Hired is uh, one of those really cool sponsors that, uh, that are one of the only sponsors for Simple Programmer because I, I just was looking for the right, the right company and Hired it is actually a really cool company. So um, I like what they're doing. I like what they have done. I like how they're helping uh, the right people get jobs and I like how they flip things around. I always talk about as a software developer, you know, not going in the front door and this is, they, they've sort of helped you to do that. I think there's still some other things that you can do as a developer, like watching these videos and learning how to, how to do that. But, but definitely check them out. Go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer. You'll basically get double the, the kickback, the bonus that you get. Like when you get a job with hired, I think they give you a thousand dollars, but with simple with that, if you go to hire.com simple programmer, you'll get $2,000 which is pretty awesome. And go check it out, you know, if you're looking for a new job, definitely, uh, it's, it's a totally different way to do the job search, and uh, they're a really cool company. So, you know, they're, they're, they're legit, right? I've, I've talked to them a lot, and, and I really like them, and I think you will too. So, anyway, let's get on to the question here on programming apprenticeships. So, uh, this is a little bit of a long email. Uh, it says, uh, hi John, thanks for taking my email. So, as if I had a choice, <laughs> you email me and it shows up in my inbox. I, I guess I could just like delete it before I read it, but you know. Anyway, so I recently was accepted into an apprenticeship program. This program takes about a year. There is two weeks of pre-work, then six weeks of Java boot camp. Okay, so two weeks and then six weeks. That's good that they have the pre-work. I like that. Um, earlier in 2016, I graduated from another boot camp. The focus of that boot camp was front-end development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. My goal from completing this apprenticeship boot camp is to learn both sides of web development so I can be an entry-level web developer. Okay. The only reason I'm taking the second boot camp is because I have been desperately looking for work and can't find it after completing the first boot camp. Okay. I was working for a company and IBM bought out the IT department and sent all of our jobs to India. Oh darn. <laughs> From what I hear, IBM tends to do that. I, I guess they do. You know. Uh, anyway, I was actually considered for a position and sent a code challenge. The challenge was to create a registration form and have it submit to the back end. Okay, that sounds pretty simple. Which I was not able to do because I have no back end experience. Okay, that makes sense. See? Um, I did this video, by the way, on what difference between front end and back end. Uh, you can check that out if you're interested. Um, I got high regards for my front end skills, but was not offered a uh, position. So back to the boot camp. After six weeks are complete, I will have to interview with companies and get hired on my own. Once I get hired, I will start off at $12 an hour. Every three months I get a raise until one year and I eventually get $25 an hour. I'll also be offered new training every three months as well. Hmm. My questions are, how do you feel about apprenticeships? Do you know anyone who went through a coding apprenticeship before? How was their experience? Do you think this is a good way to secure a job? Do you think I will be a better developer with this apprenticeship? Will a company be hesitant to hire me because they know I am part of an apprenticeship program? Thank you, Kevin. So, Kevin, so, so the, the problem with the other one in the video that I talked about was it was basically three months, or no, it was three years, okay? Now, three years commitment is a long, long time. If this is just one year, that's better. The fact that you're starting off writing code at $12 an hour, that you've got to find your own job and interview for that job, that, oh gosh, I don't know about that, man. Like, I guess if it's only for a year and then, let me see, when do you get your raise? Let, let's, what does it say? Uh, what, what, what does it say? <laughs> I want, I once, let's see, okay. So after six weeks are complete, I'll have to interview with companies and get hired on my own. Once I get hired, I'll start off at $12 an hour. Every three months, we'll get a raise until one year and I'll eventually be $25 an hour and offer new training. So I guess here's the thing. I would, I would want to know, are you paying for this apprenticeship program for the bootcamp part of it? If it's totally free and you're getting free training and then you're going to work for $12 an hour that you're eventually going to get raised up to $25 an hour after a year and you're not locked in, then it might be worth, it might be worth investing a year. Okay. 
So you've already tried to get a job. You already went through boot camp. You've already tried to get a job. And so if you really think this is going to work out, it might be worth investing another year of your life, not getting paid a lot of money to learn, to get experience, to actually get your foot in the door. Now, I don't think you need to do this. I think that there's other ways, but if you feel you need to do this, if you feel like this is your chance to get your foot in the door, you know, if I were in a situation, let me put it this way. If I were in a situation where I felt like I, I just, I just want to get my foot in the door and I don't know how to do it. And I've tried the coding boot camp, and I've been trying to get a job and I can't do it. And you know, this is, this is my best shot for getting my foot in the door. I would be willing to sacrifice a year of my life at, at a lower pay a much lower pay, ridiculously low pay to do that. I would even be willing to say, you know, cause the part of me is like angry. Cause I'm like, what the hell? You're going to get some kind of job, right? You're going to interview for the job. You got to find it yourself. They're going to basically pay 30 or 40 bucks an hour. And then you're going to get 12 of it. And this company is going to get the rest of it. They're going to be, you know, working you. But so, so that kind of makes me angry. But at the same time, like, I know from a principal standpoint that who the hell cares? Are you getting what you want out of the deal? It doesn't matter if you're getting quote taken advantage of, let someone take advantage of you while you're getting what you need to get, you know, again, I did this video on some on eating shit. This is an eat shit scenario, right? Where, where literally you are getting taken advantage of, you know it, you're eating shit. It's fine because you know that in one year you're going to have a job, you're going to be being paid well and you, and you'll have your foot in the door. So that's what, that's what, how I would look at this, right? Since it's only a year, I think it's a totally different scenario than that other video I, I talked about where, where it was three years. Cause three years is, that's a, that's a seriously long time. And that's, you know, again, it depends on this one on whether or not you have to pay for the coding bootcamp, but I could see this as working, right? You know, again, part of me is angry cause I'm like, it feels exploitive, but it's not really exploitive, right? It's like, I, I, you know, you, you, you liberals, I even, <laughs> I, I, I feel it, you know, I'm not, I'm not a total heartless capitalist bastard. I, I, I understand, you know, your, your perspective here, but I'm practical and pragmatic. And I say, Hey, you know what? I'd rather get taken advantage of quote, taken advantage of for a year. If it helps me in the end and I get the job that I'm looking for and I get my foot in the door and you got to be willing to eat shit. Like I said, so, so it's up to you, you know, if this is your best option, do it fine. Who cares? Right. In a year, you're going to be in so much better position. It won't matter, you know, but, uh, but if you've got other options, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this looks like a good program to you. Like I said, you're not, it doesn't feel like a scam. You're not having to invest a bunch of money. Yeah. I, I think, I think this could work in this, in this particular case. And in general, you know, I'm not for these kind of programs. I think it's better, you know, uh, again, if you're, if you're, if you're wanting to know like what I generally think about how to get a job and how to become a software developer, that's why I'm putting together my book on uh, the complete software developers career guide check it out, sign up here and you can get it actually for free, the chapters of it. And, uh, and yeah, so, but, but anyway, this is, this is an option and, and, and it, and it kind of makes sense in this, in this scenario, I think. So, uh, so I wish you well, Kevin. And, uh, if you have a question for me, you can always email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. Don't forget to check out hired.com slash simple programmer. It's cool. And if you like this video and you want more, videos free, totally free videos. I won't even, I won't even make you work at a, at a slave labor rate for $12 an hour. Click the subscribe button below and, uh, and we got a deal. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Take care.